Hey everybody, welcome to my tutorial on building an image generator bot with Discord. I was playing around with Mid Journey, you know, generating a lot of images, seeing how cool it is, and I realized that this is something we can make ourselves. Uh, so I decided to basically figure out how Mid Journey works uh, with some docs and put it together into a bot and build it for a tutorial. So without further ado, let's begin. So we'll start by creating our bot. The interface has changed or else I'd just refer you to my first video, but we're going to call this, um, let's call it mid journey mock. Yeah. Um, let it load. There we go. So we'll just add him. He's mid journey mock. And then we're going to call this mock of mid journey. Uh, the description really doesn't matter. We're just quickly putting together a bot for our purposes. Uh, go ahead and save the changes. And in OAuth 2, there's no longer two tabs. It's all one screen. Uh, so we're going to set our in-app authorization to bot and allow all text permissions. Now, the bot doesn't really need anything besides these. Um, your most important is attach files and send messages. And then we're going to add an intent in just a little bit in the bot screen where we say message intent. There we go. Now uh, we actually need to go back to OAuth and set this in bot and give it the same permissions just so that we could generate our invite URL and go ahead and put the dude in our server. So we'll copy this and put it in our browser then it'll say an external application wants to join. You just let it in. If you've watched my videos before, you know what we're doing. I just wanted to show you around the new interface uh, for the OAuth screen. So same as before, once we add our intent on this screen, you'll go reset token and do it. And the token generated for me, but of course I'm not going to show that off on YouTube anymore. You can see in my old videos where I've actually done that before. And the token was disabled. No harm came from it, but uh, it's just a bad practice. I don't want to teach people bad practices. So now we are good to jump into our code. And um, you'll see I already have some code here. This is available in the GitHub link below. If you have watched my videos previously and know how to build a Discord bot from scratch, you can do that. Or you can use this template. If you don't know how to build it from scratch, I don't recommend you use the template. You can, you're free to, but I recommend you go back, watch a couple of my first videos that came out on building Discord bots and learn what each part of this does because it's getting kind of repetitive doing this in every single video. So what I've done is made a template for us to start with so we can get into the nitty gritty meat and potatoes of the bots we actually make. So here I've started from my template. Um, I'm going to put my token in the ENV file, so just a second. Now the Discord token is in there. Um, uh, you will have to make your own ENV file if you use the template. Just because I added the ENV file to my git ignore so that I don't accidentally upload my tokens to GitHub and then some malicious user gets a hold of it. <clears throat> so I don't upload ENV files and I don't recommend you do either. Um, the way you should do environment variables is store them safely on whatever's hosting your application. So say you're using Azure, you'd store it in Azure Key Vault, or there's AWS Secrets. There's a whole bunch of options out there to store your keys safely. Uh, locally, you can use an EMV file or set it in your system environment variables. I have tutorials on all of this. Just go back and find it in my shorts. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into how our message method should work. And before we do that, we actually need to import from OpenAI, import OpenAI. And above that, let's do import your lib requests. I think that's all we're going to need. If we need something else, we just add it later. Beauty of coding. So now we're going to set our OpenAI client. OpenAI client equals open AI and there we go. 
So now what we want to do is go inside of our message function and say if the message content, I believe, starts with question mark generate. This is how you can set up the commands inside of Discord. A lot of people will look up how to generate a bot with commands. This is how you do it. You just check if it starts with this. There's other ways to do it, but this is my favorite way to do it for simple purposes. And what we're going to do is set our prompt to take the message content, replace, generate with a blank string so that this becomes the actual prompt, whatever the user puts after generate. Um, this does require the user to put a space after generate. Midjourney has some way I don't quite know yet of forcing you to put a space after. Uh, we're not going to do that here. And then all we have to do is uh, delete the user's message. So await message delete. That has to do with being an asynchronous function. We wait for the Discord bot to delete the message, but we don't stop our code to wait. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that, but that's the gist. Then we're going to say await message channel send. Um, we'll say generating image. Please wait. And then we will actually generate our image using Dolly. I'm going to show it to you in the GitHub where I'm copy and pasting this. Um, so I will just put that in. <clears throat> And it looks like I had named it something different. So I'm just going to say open AI, open AI client. There we go. Now we're saying open AI client images generate. And this is pretty straightforward what it's doing. You're taking your client, you go into the images API and using the generate call. And we're putting it in the response variable using model Dolly three. I believe there's three I believe there's other models like 3.5. Um, there's our prompt. Of course, we're setting it to our prompt variable we set here. The size of the image, you could customize this to whatever you want. I'm just using 1024 by 1024 because that's what OpenAI recommends. And the quality is standard. I believe you can go with high or low. Yeah, yeah, here's our options right here. If you hover, IntelliSense gives us a nice little prompt that says standard or HD, you could go HD. Um, we'll go with standard for now in it generates a number of images. So if you really want to be like mid journey, you could go with four. Um, so actually we'll do that because I want to be as close to mid journey as possible with my mock. Now for something really cool, we're going to set the image URL to response data zero. Um, and I believe you could get the URL. Yeah. Image URL. We're setting the URL of our image because Midjourney doesn't really give you the images. It just puts them at a URL hosted by OpenAI. And I say Midjourney, I mean Dolly. <laughs> <clears throat> but the image URL, we're setting that so that we can download it. And I believe that is URL lib request URL retrieve. There it is. And we will use our image URL and give our file name a name. We're just going to call it image.png as I think it returns a PNG. Not entirely sure, but Dolly is high quality. So we'll convert it to PNG anyways. Then I, I believe we could do await message channel send. Set the content to image for and I like doing this for our users just so they know what's going on. Make it an F string image for prompt. And I believe the space is retained so we can actually leave our prompt there. Then we can specify a file for our discord bot to send. So we could say discord file and specify our image .png. And the reason this works, we don't have to specify file paths, um, is because we're just generating the image, putting it in our root file path. If you're going to use a server and store it in certain files, you're of course going to have to 
store it in a different file path, or you could do it locally, you know, if you want to practice that. And then at the bottom, we have our run and in main PY, the super simple run is set up. I believe this is all we need. So I'm going to open our discord server, um, run, make sure it runs properly. Ah, yeah, you had to hit run inside of main PY. And then logging in, boom, mid journey mock is now running. We see our little guys running right here, so we can request that he generates uh, a fancy mouse holding a cup of espresso. Midjourney mock took away our message, just like Midjourney would, and says generating image, please wait. And we have an error, bad request error, error code 400. And that's kind of the reason I set into four, because with our free, well, I say free, our low cost Dolly 3, you can't do what Midjourney does. You have to do in one. You have to generate one image at a time. So control C in there. Okay, so now we could go in, run our bot again, and hit generate. And we will say a fancy mouse holding a cup of espresso. Wow. Generating image again, and this time we're generating only one, so any error will be unplanned, but we will address it promptly. And as you can see, we generated our image. Two things actually happened. Inside of our file directory, we got image.png. Right, so this is our image. We can click it and see that this is what uh, Dolly generated for us, which is really cool. How do you zoom out? Eh. But yeah, it's really cool. And Discord bot Midjourney Mock was able to send it to us, telling us what we prompted and sending it to us as a downloadable file. You can save it and it will be PNG. So that is how to build a Midjourney Mock. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as that really helps support the channel. I'm slowly growing and it's really amazing to see just a small little community building around me talking about building discord bots who knew but yeah be sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any more videos like this until then keep on coding